right? So what we need to understand is how can then people exercise their legislative power if an election is uh, not being held? That's the first question. So basically, this, I mean, any government, so to say, I am not, I'm not privy to speak of politics, so to say, but then all I could say is a government who doesn't want to hold elections, and if they are deliberately sort of postponing elections, I would say here, then we have a situation where the people's sovereignty has been violated. And not just that, not just I'm not going to limit myself to Article 4 of the Constitution. I'm just going to base myself on the Constitution per se because this uh, question came up as to whether this is constitutional, right? And even if you look at some of the directive principles of state policy, which the parliament is bound to sort of follow and exercise, you will see under Article 27, subsection 4, if I may read it, it very clearly says that uh, the democratic rights of the people should be decentralized by the administration and by affording all possible opportunities to the people to participate at every level in national life and in government. 